And police in Florida have released surveillance video of someone setting fire to a mosque once attended by Omar Mateen, the man who went on a shooting rampage at an Orlando nightclub. Surveillance video shows someone running out of the mosque after the fire starts, and investigators are treating it not only as arson, but as a possible hate crime. Earlier, officials from the Council on American Islamic Relations held a press conference in front of the mosque to speak about whether it was indeed a target because of former member Omar Mateen. I see a very criminal-minded, heinous mind behind the crime that happened here last night. Uh, Oman Mateen did attend this mosque. His mosque. We have told the press he was not a regular attendant in the mosque. In the past year, he probably, before the Orlando shooting, probably came here twice. Uh, so uh, their family were a regular attendant, but himself, he came here. Uh, it could be. The, the intention is real hate because coming to set up a worship center on fire uh, on September 11, close to midnight, and leaving in a motorcycle, it just shows that there's no other intent other than create harm and terrorize the Muslim community. Justice reporter Paula Reed has been following the story out of Washington. Paula, this is a very troubling story on multiple levels. We have the anniversary of 9-11. It happens on that day. What are your sources telling you uh, about why this fire may have been set? Federal investigators say it does appear that this was very likely a hate crime. And usually they don't say that right off the bat. But as you noted, there's a lot of facts here that really point in that direction. First of all, you have someone running away from the fire. It was 9-11. There's a history with this mosque. As you noted, this was formerly attended by the Orlando shooter, Omar Mateen. So when you put all of that together, it does appear that this was likely a hate crime. But investigators have not said that publicly yet because they ultimately have to arrest this individual and get more evidence before they can make that determination. And Paula, according to the mosque's Facebook page at least, they claim this isn't the first time it's been a target of attack. Uh, have you learned anything in that regard? Yes, back in July, uh, one of the members of the mosque, he was standing outside trying to get in his car and he was attacked. Uh, he was attacked by someone who kicked him, punched him while, run, while saying uh, racially offensive comments to him. That person was located and arrested. And at that time, the mosque released a statement and they said, unfortunately, there are some of those who unjustly, illogically blame all Muslims for the actions of individuals. It is important that we keep ourselves safe and be cautious during these times so they know that they are possible targets and some Muslim advocacy groups have called for additional security for this mosque. So Paula, we, this fire comes at a moment in America when other reports have suggested an increase in apparent hate crimes or alleged hate crimes against Muslim Americans. There's a climate of tension, if not more. We know this was an intentional fire. We know the mosque had significance recently in a terror attack. How much more do the authorities need before they can make that hate crime determination? It's a great question. The first thing they need to do is identify this suspect and then they need to catch him. And then they need to talk to him. As weird as it sounds, um, in other church fires, when other houses of worship uh, have been set on fire, investigators have said to me, don't be so quick to assume this is a hate crime. There are people who just like to set things on fire. But that does not seem to be the case here. And what they'll need to do is to find this person, to talk to him, to gather more evidence, look at social media, look at things he said. Did he make any threats? Does he, is he associated with any hate, hate groups? They're going to need to gather a lot more information about this individual and what led him to target this mosque. But again, given the circumstantial evidence we have at this point, it's certainly leaning heavily in that direction. And that's why some investigators are already saying, look, that's what it looks like, even though we're usually very slow. Uh, to make that conclusion and that determination. We wait to make sure, you know, we have all our facts here. Things are definitely looking like it could potentially be a hate crime. All right, Paula Reed, thank you.